All right, so we got another one. We've got the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Speed Duel. Speed Duels are really good. These are like, they come with some great rares, but they also come with some great decks, and I'm loving these decks. I'm loving them 100%. Now, I don't usually do Speed Duels in the sense of Speed Duels, but I do take the Speed Duel decks and like mix them together, and it's really fun. I mean, really fun to put them all together, and I'm loving them. I'm loving the promos as well. I think it's really good and really good incentive to grab them. So, of course, we got Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, and yes, we have got the other better um, lens on, because, uh, yeah, the last one just didn't work out well, and you know what? I just feel like this one just works better. So, there you go. Darkness Awakens, eight ready-to-play decks, which is awesome. I think you get the Sacred Beast in them, which is awesome as well. I love them, as you can tell. So, you get Secret Rares of all three Secret Beasts, beautiful Steel Cards, and five Secret Rare Upgrades from a set of 21 which also makes it really good to like buy more so let's start rocking and rolling let's just open her up really really excited for this and i mean i, I think i've already got ultra rares from the deck but i think having multiple ultra rares is fun as hell so you know and the fact that you can use the deck as well like the, the box as a deck box if you really wanted to i think is a really good thing obviously got my dragon shields as you can tell really good stuff and to double sleeve them, which I can show as well. So let's open her up. There we go. So yes, here we go. Lord of Searing Flames. Look how great that looks. Bloody oath. So what I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm going to... We're going to open up those, but I'm going to sleeve them. Because of course I am. There's no way in hell I wasn't going to sleeve them. Because they are amazing. So get a good chunk of these. I probably don't need more than five, but just to be sure. Let's open these up. I love, I'm loving the promos. They, these things just have so many good promos, like absolutely amazing. So, let's have a look. So you got Uriah, Lord of the Searing Flames. Let's just, Lord of the Fearing, Searing, Searing Flames. Stringing Thunder, which looks amazing. Raviel, Lord of Phantasms, beautiful. Macro Cosmos, very nice. Emblem, Hero Shining Ring, Flare Wingman, beautiful. Amazon Swordswoman, again, beautiful. And DD Crow, which we have a fair chunk of them. So, not bad, really good deck. Um, obviously, like all the other ones, the Arias and all that, you get straight up, and then, you know, you go from there, so... Now I'm going to show you how I sleeve my cards. So usually I get my sleeve and I put them in backwards. Like so. Now this is quite a... Quite a tight one, but... Gets in there in the end. You're probably thinking, why? Why do it like that? Because then I can do this. Get a big one. These ones are usually used for like Yu Gi Oh! Um, not Yu Gi Oh! Um, like Pokemon cards and stuff because you can tell they're quite big. And then what I do is I find the bottom or the top, either or, and I go in the opposite direction. Simple as that. And sometimes they don't want to open properly, but yeah, you just put it in the opposite direction and you're all good. There you go, double sleeved. Beautiful stuff. Looks fantastic. And yeah, works really well. Yeah, you can obviously go in any direction you want, realistically, but for me, it's like, yeah. So, of course, I'm going to get the uh, Sacred Beasts done first because I think they look amazing and worth your time. Now, this one, I'll show you how this one goes. Very similar, except from the top, the bottom. As you can tell, it looks amazing. So, yeah, same as last one. Put over, rah rah. Good, good, goody, goody gumdrops. I'm definitely gonna put these in my binder with my other um, god cards, considering these are like the alternate god cards. I think it's a really cool thing. Raviel, Lord of Phantasms, looks bloody, bloody beautiful. Look at that. 
just just looks absolutely amazing and then yeah so another thing to do is if you're a bit scared obviously for like if you want it, if you're gonna think you're gonna fray it and all that you really just have to open it like you just open it up stick your finger in there gives a bit more room and then you just slowly but sure you come from the side and yeah go like that makes it a bit easier to put it in and yeah good stuff again Lord of Striking Thunder. Beautiful, beautiful, my good sir. All right. Now, the main... I'm, 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 I'll do the main cards. I've done the main cards. Um, These ones I will put away, but I'm going to wait. Just because I want to get through the decks and not make this a very long video. Mainly because the longer it is, the more data it uses up sort of deal. So, But I tell you what, every single time that you're, you record something online... It never wants to work. Like, it, like you, it never wants to open up. These things never want to open up. You could open, I could open these up a million times, first time around, and it never wants to open up the next time. But yeah, all three sacred beasts, ready to rock. Beautiful stuff. I mean, the sacred beasts alone are worth the effort of grabbing them. Hundred percent. They're absolutely worth it. 10 out of 10. They look beautiful, honestly. I mean, they're more fiendish, I believe. So, dark, fiendish, so... They just work so well. So, yeah. Good stuff. Now, let us get into the decks, because there's a chunky amount of decks. Which, again, I love. And then you obviously get one of these, which... Is going to be massively big, but... I believe that's what it's supposed to look like, the game that. It's supposed to look like that there. Which looks cool. But we'll get to that later. So, I don't think they've got any rares. These are just commons. All of these are commons. Which, I know for some people are like, what the hell? But I think that's perfectly fine. So, let's see. I'll try not to destroy the cards like I did with the last one I did. Um, although, I guess that just gives me an excuse to buy more, right? Hmm. <laughs> Which, as a collector, I probably will, because having multiple cards... Although, I've already got the multiple cards of the Sacred Beast, so you never know. Though I don't know, I don't think they're in that rarity, so maybe. And this is like 50 bucks, which is really good when you think about it. Ugh, I hate opening these things. I'm going to have to use this. I mean, I love them, but I hate opening them 100%. And to be fair, these sort of speed duel ones I do usually get at least once or twice just to get the different rarity cards and have doubles and stuff. I think it's a really good thing and really fun too. So, and I really love the feel of speed duel cards. I think they, I think they, I, nah, I think they feel absolutely amazing. Okay, so you got hero malicious, elemental hero, nice, very very good. Oh. Elemental Hero Bast Bast Bastnix. Oh my God! I have to rewatch GX because I rem I remember these cards. Like I'm absolutely remember these cards. Elemental Hero Clayman. Obviously, this is Yugi's deck. Uh, Yugi Yugi Yugi's not Yugi's Yumi's. It has been a while since I've seen um, Yu-Gi-Oh GX. So Elemental Hero Sparkman. Elemental Hero Wildheart. Infernal Gainer. All oh, these are gonna be fun decks. I know speed duel is supposed to be like 20, but I like to really go through it and just add a whole lot of them together. Dark Ruler, nice. Hades, even though it spells Hades, but yeah, okay. Absorbing Jar, nice. Alternate Art, Dark Fusion, very nice. Dark Calling, Evil Mind. Dark World Lightning, which looks sick. Super Polymerization, nice. Hero Signal, Dark Deal, Windstorm. Evil Hero Malicious Fiend, oh hells yeah. Oh, I love... Oh, my God. Look at them. Look at all the... Look. look. Holy shit. Look at all the um, Fiend Fusions. Oh, a Red-Eyes Darkness Dragon. Can't say no to that. A Red-Eyes Black Dragon. Okay. I think this is a different deck now. Um, was not expecting more of those. Last the Dragon. Last the Dragon 2. Black Dragon. Red-Eyes Wyvern. I think, I've read, yeah, I think I've got those, but that's cool. Red-Eyes Wyvern looks really nice. Black Metal Dragon. I love me some Black Metal. Uh, Troop Dragon. Karangun, just to point out, I just, Karangun just came into my head as a really good black metal band. 
Spear Dragon. Oh, I haven't seen that in ages. Vanguard of the Dragon. That looks very sick. Anything with dragons. You know me. You know me. Dragons all the way. Totem Dragon. Stamping Destruction. Dragon's Gunfire. I thought that said Dragon's Cuisine. I'm like, okay, yeah. Swing of Memories. Dragon's Rage. Negate Attack. And Red Eyes Spirit. So, that's actually really good. Like, I... Honestly, I think there's probably 40 cards in this one deck, so you could probably mix it together and have this as its own little dragon hero deck, which I may do. Really depends. What I do is, like I said, I go through them all and I will re rejig them into a deck that I think is really cool and put them in my deck box so that if anybody comes around that wants to play with them, I've got a deck ready for them and they can just go through it, um, which I like. This is another reason why I love these speed duels. I love buying all these decks. Because you can make your own little ones and you don't have to like... I mean, yeah, I know some decks you can just are pre-made. But I, I have a lot more fun going through them and just, just evolving them from what we've already got. So I think that's a really good good idea. In my mind. In my mind. So, yeah. But yeah. I really like that. That's just how I roll. Ah, get off. Okay. Vampire Genesis. I remember when I was a kid, that was one of the best cards. gonna refocus vampire baby i'm just a vampire baby here uh -huh. oh and actually oh vampire lady nice actually coming up to like halloween time or at least we're getting into it this one's a very good one vampire lord oh i'm loving this deck vampire retainer very nice very nice indeed vampire sorcerer vampire's curse oh baby I'm loving this. Zombina. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. I reckon that is cute as hell. Goblin zombie. Hells yeah. Plague wolf. Oh man, this is a great deck. Heavy knight of the flame. Oh, hells yeah. And I think there's a... No, it's not. Ryukoki. Cool of the mummy. Book of life. Foolish Buriel. Soul Exchange, very nice. Vampire's Desire, the Forceful Checkpoint. Vampire's Awakening. Amazon this Queen, I think there's a new one now. Swordswoman. See, that's the sort of stuff that, like, they don't censor yet. You know, they censored other ones. I mean, I know things change and people grow up and stuff. Oh, Amazon Paladin, that looks, looks sick. Amazos Chain Amazos? Amazos? Am Amazonus. Amazonus, Amazonus, fight. you know, I'm not even going to pronounce that. I'm bad at pronouncing these, but trainee, very good trainee, very nice. Sage, Siege, Scouts, Survivor, very nice for a battle deck. Reinforcements of the army, yeah, that makes sense. Warriors, Amazon Heirloom, Amazon, Amazonus Village, Fighting Spirit. My brain doesn't always want to work. I apologize for that. Archers, Willpower, Dramatic Rescue. Queen's Pawn, Half Counter, Skull Archfiend of Lightning, oh that is sick, I wish that was a rare, that's okay, I'm going to put that away because I like that, Archfiend Soldier, oh this is going to be an Archfiend deck, oh this and the Vampires, I mean I know, I, well, they're all technically part of the same deck, oh, no, yeah they are, but I'm definitely going to move those together, Archfiend, Archfiend of Vampires, so yeah, ooh, ooh Vile Spawn Archfiend, very nice, very nice, Shadow Knight Archfiend, Dark Bishop, oh, oh, Giant Orc, I love the Archfiends, makes sense considering, but Annihilate, oh, that looks sick, Foolish Burial, Pandemonium, Checkmate, Pandemonium looks great, something out of like, uh, like Pandemonium just looks like something out of like Morbid Angel or, um, What is it? Morbid Angel and I have that hat somewhere and my brain doesn't want to find it. I have been at work all day, but I do love that. Skull Archfiend of Lightning. I think that looks amazing. That looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm probably going to seal that up later as well. Most likely am. Sepultura. Pandemonium looks like a Sepultura. There we go. My brain finally worked then. Thanks, brain. <laughs> You're a good man, huh? Yeah, I know. My brain has not been the same. My brain, the bane. Bring the pain of the brain. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Ain't no brain with the pain. Yeah, I am trying not to sing again, but I shall because I can't. Alright, this one should be fun. This one should be fun. Oh, do I, get a f I swear. Okay. Helios, like primordial sun. Nice, nice. Let's dig in. Okay. Golden hom homon homunculus. Bazoo the soul eater. Okay, that is sick. That's weird, but sick. Chaos Rider, Gustav. Hey, Gustav, you want to be a Chaos Rider? Okay, there will be Chaos Rider. This Darth Rider, you want to be a Chaos Rider as well? You'll be Chaos Rider. DD Survivor. What up, my man? What up? What up? Mm -hmm. DD Scout playing. Nice. Nice. Different Dimension Master. That actually looks pretty sick. Banisher of the Radiance. DD Crow. Nice. Not bad. DD Destroyer. Another good one. Green Majida Aiza. Okay. Okay. Tribe Shocking Virus. Yeah, fair, fair. Soul Release. Great classic card. Galaxy Cyclone. You can't play pool with planets. Watch me. Grand Convergence. Different Dimension Gate. That's another good one, actually. Different Dimension Encounter. Oh, interesting. Macro Cosmos. Curse of Aging. Dark Summoner B. So that's a new one. Oh, more Fiends. That'd be good with the Fiend deck, actually, I reckon. Mad Reloader. I might actually move. I might like put the, the Fiend. The boys. The boys. And more the boys. I might put the Fiend decks together with this one because I think a really strong Fiend deck would be really nice. The Goblin King. And Grave Protector. Oh, well, that's a great one. I really love that one. That's a great effect. I like how more monsters later on basically had effects like um, magic cards and stuff. It really, really helped out. So you didn't feel bad if you didn't have a strong magical trap card one. Although you should. Awakening the Sacred Beasts. Nice. I wonder if they do. Did they, will they give us the Sacred Beasts in normals? I doubt it, but, you know, they would be nice. Fog King. Eye of the Typhoon. Ooh, Cloudian. Cloudian. Even more Cloudian. Even more Cloudian. Even more Cloudian. Even more Cloudian. Is this a Cloudian deck? Yes, it's absolutely. It's, it's a deck of clouds, which... Radio. Okay, Storm Dragon does look pretty sick. Vortex Trooper. Mother Grizzly, of course. There's always a Mother Grizzly. So, obviously, this is a more cloudy deck. Um, yeah, doesn't look too bad. Looks okay. But the Fiend stuff, I, I'm definitely going to add the Fiend stuff, the Fiend deck stuff into the other Fiend deck. Well, I'm gonna, I'm, after I do this, I'm probably just going to put some Yu-Gi-Oh on and make the decks up because I love doing that. It just makes it feel more authentic. Well, after I put those away. Which I might just... Oh, we'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But yeah. I love it how, like, I've got all these summoned skulls, but I've never been able to pull one. I'm like, really? I'd like to pull a summoned skull, guys. Okay. So now we've got the tokens, which do look pretty cool. Ruthless Means. Forge... Oh. Oh, that's cool. That's a really good one. That's going in... That, that's definitely going in for my dragons. Welcome to the jungle. It's all fun and games. Archfiend. So yeah, obviously they've got a bit of everything. Fog warning, dark unity, dark Jaden, which I don't think they did in the anime because they didn't. I don't really remember the Camilla. I don't really remember much of that one or the the these guys. But it's been a while since I've actually seen Yu Gi Oh GX. So Shadow Riders. No one suspects the Dark Scorpion Gang. Vaguely remember those. Vaguely. Vaguely. Dark Creation again. Vaguely. Dark Scorpion. Dark Scorpion. Pharaoh's Servant. Nice. Anything to do with Pharaohs. That actually looks pretty sick. Spirit of the Pharaoh. First Sarcophagus. The second Sarcophagus. The third. Jeez, how many Sarcophagus do you have? G -g 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 you know what? I just I have a lot of him, so it's okay. By tip. That actually looks pretty sick. Obsidian Dragon. Oh, babes. That looks beautiful. Zure Knight of the Dark World. Actually, looks pretty sick. Mad King of the Dark World. Again, looks very sick. And he's dark, so he's a fiend. So, again, I'm going to add that to the fiend. Oh, that looks sick. Oh, my God. Does that look sick as anything? I'm going to have so much fun putting these decks together. Prison Queen Archfiend. Oh, damn. Damn, look at that. Look at the art. The art in this is so good. Pitch Black Warwolf. 
Vampire Hunter, nice. Again, Castlevania, love. Aqua Spirit, the Wind Spirit, the Dual Megidus Megidus, the Trice, Thrice, Trice, but Thrice, isn't that Thrice? Isn't that should be Thrice? You know what? I don't know. I'm getting my information from The Simpsons, so I don't know. Elemental Hero Flare Dragon, Terraforming Salmon, because of course, Armed Dragon, level 10. Again, great, great one. Cyber Dragon as well. A Vampire Koala, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, okay. That, yeah, sure. I mean, they're mostly like that, aren't they? Book of Moon, another one. Counter Cleaner, of course. Flash of the Forbidden Spell. Aqua Chorus, Chorus Trap Hole, Human Wave Tactics, Nightmare Wheel, and Zoma the Spirit. So, really good decks. Like, again, the, the Speed Jewel decks, these Speed Jewel decks are a must-have. Not only do they come with some great cards, um, again, mostly common, but that is okay because they all come together really well. I mean, look, look at the backs of that. That looks sick. I mean, look at that. That looks amazing. Like, I think the Speed Duels that they've released have been quality every time. Like, every time this one the dual cities like it's just been amazing and worth it you get and then, like i said it's good to get these rares but it's also great to get these commons as well that's a great common card to have but uh, yeah and it's great because if you had the rare you'd want to do this and not get rid of it sort of deal so i think that's a great thing and obviously we get a lot of phantasms and stuff like that fantastic stuff i'm probably going to buy another one later on um just so i have doubles and stuff but also again mixing the decks up or at least keeping the deck so that you can give it to other people who might be getting into Yu-Gi-Oh. I know I'm going to do that. And great, great for birthday and Christmas presents. Here's a Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Enjoy, you know. But anyway, Aussie Viking out. Aussie and Valhalla, you are awesome, you are beautiful, and you are loved. All right? Rock and roll. Kick everybody's ass and fucking be awesome. See ya.